Hi guys, welcome back to Tactics Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Leonardo AI Train Model. Train your own custom models. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Like today's video, I will be showing you how you will be able to create your own models that you could use. Now if you don't know what models are, basically models are what the AI is using as a basis for its output. Basically, a data set of images of consisting of hundreds of images and sometimes even thousands. As you can see here on the home page right away, you could see that there is already featured models created by Leonardo. For example, over here for the 3D animation style, this model consists of hundreds of different outputs or photos that has that specific style that has the specific 3d animation style and it has that amount of data set being used as a basis for leonardo so that it doesn't have a mistake or it doesn't do another style by mistake because it will only be using that specific style uh, same thing with photoreal it uses very realistic images for dream shaper it has a bit more range for anime pastel dream it has anime related images being used for rpgs same style and all those other outputs over here as well and i'm going to show you in today's video how you will be able to create your own version for example you have a set of images that you would like to have a consistent style on for example we have this output over here let's check them out let's see this output over here a futuristic photo if you would like to have a consistent futuristic photo for all of your prop, you can create your own output or your own model by using different images of futuristic or a style of images that has a specific style. But the problem is a bit of limitation with this type of training is you need a lot of images. Having 5 or 10 is not really enough. You need hundreds or even at least 50 images to make something decent or a decent model so let's start it actually let's go and click over here on the left side you have the training and data sets so if you click on training data sets as you can see right now we have no data set but if you click on create new data set we will be able to start the data set or basically our model so let's say model or other testing for now and create data set like I explained earlier, you need to have your images over here. Right now, I don't have any images, but I have some images already generated on my personal feed. So you could use that as well, or you could go to the community feed and look for images that you would like to have as a consistent style on. For example, let's do what I was mentioning earlier. Let's select futuristic styles that we are seeing right now, such as this, uh, this one. Let's look for more futuristic, this one over here. And as you can see, as I select them, you will be noticed that they are being selected. And now it's just looping. So let's go back to the top. And as you can see, we have four images. Right now, the limit for us is actually 40 images. But for Leonardo, of course, on their featured or their actual models that they have created, they are using a lot of images. But for us as a normal user, we are only limited to 40. But as you can see, we only have this. So if we select all of this, and we can simply click on train model but like i mentioned earlier having more than 10 is a very good number so let's click on train model and as you can see let's say our model name is futuristic there we go and the training resolution let's go and make it a bit higher the category is game item graphical elements photography product design texture let's go with texture this model is NSFW, it's not really NSFW. Our base model, let's go with a 2.1. Rift description, our robotic, and futuristic. There we go. Instant prop, let's just say our robotic. There we go. Meaning, if you enter this specific prop, it will automatically use the model that you are using or it will activate it. So, Right now, we can't really train it because right now it's out of models because I think I have one already trained on my set so I can't create another one but for you, you can simply click on create training and you will be able to start it. Let's actually go to fine tune models and check my models over here. Uh, 
so i guess i don't have a model so i guess it's a limitation right now depending on the time you create it i guess or debate depending on the availability this is where you will be able to find your fine tuned model but let's just assume that i have already created my model you can also check out community models over here these are models created by the community so if you created your own model you will be able to find them over here as well as you can see so when you click on ai image generator right now you know that you will be able to change your models by clicking on this option you will be able to see you have the option to select custom models and as you can see you have your models over here this is where you'll be able to find them you have your favorite models as well the platform models that we all use as you can see here it's all over here and you have your community models over here these are the models created by the community like i said and assuming we have created our model you can now simply select them uh for example we have uh pixel art over here simply select this and the instant prop is pixel art let's copy this earlier our instant prop is a uh, name futuristic or robotic i think so if you enter the insert prop in your normal prop it will automatically use this fine model so let's generate with this model uh, let's say iron man versus hulk then let's say pixel art there we go and now after you click on generate of course it will now automatically use this model because we use the pixel art prompt over here and it will automatically apply it of course it will apply it because we are using the model but if we put it on our prompt as well it will make sure that it will actually be applied and our output is as you can see ai or other iron man versus hulk as you can see here with a pixel art output so if we were able to create our model earlier our output will be futuristic there's a lot of potential that you could use and do with the fine tune model aside from of course having a specific style you could also use it to have a standard or rather you could also for example you have generated good amount of ai image generation so you could download the outputs that you have generated for example you were able to have a unique style that you took or you were able to produce by having a lot of prompts or having a very complicated setting and you would like to preserve that output that you have created so you could simply download it from your uh history over here or you could go back to our process earlier let's go back actually uh let's edit this and you were able to see that we will be able to use our personal feed over here so let's say for example i have this i have generated this and i would like to preserve this type of style for my future output so i could now have this as like a model for me to be trading on so if i train this model and then i could name it like the style that i like something like that then you could simply train it and you will be able to have that consistent style from now on of course because you now have that model being used as a basis by leonardo every time you're generating an output and i have experienced that a lot where i was able to produce a very decent and amazing output but was unable to recreate it anymore even though i am using all the features such as the image image or the image prompt over here i was still unable to produce something similar in design so using that model using the method where you create your own model using the photos that you have previously created you could have a consistent style that will be ensured and something you will not be able to lose anymore and if you would like to explore of course you could check out the different models by other users as well and you could take advantage of them as well and use them with the different knowledge that you have with the different props and so that's basically it guys if you enjoyed this video please consider leaving a like and subscribe thanks for watching